Alright guys, today we're going to be doing a move review for the Gator Roll and the Cement Mixer. And these moves are very similar, so we'll just be combining them into one video. Alright, first off, first move. Kidding greed in a front headlock. Pretty tight front headlock. Then it hits a nice, clean Gator Roll. Alright, let's break that down. So first off, what I see. First thing you got to do, nice snap down. And you got to make your opponent post. Post the knee. An arm in this case is an arm something something's got to post if you want to make this move work next what he does very tight front headlock the tighter it is the better the easier it's going to be to get it get this move so he has a tight front headlock you know what's important the most important thing he has this big step with this left foot right there that big step that's what turns his hips and then his hips should be facing the ceiling and his head should be facing his opponent's chest he looks underneath the head and then Really twists hard, hard twist, lands on his hip, and then finishes the gator roll. So a good gator roll, finishes kind of like Iowa. That that step and that twist is really what made that successful. Alright, next move. Getting blue and a defensive front headlock. Big gator roll. Alright, let's take another look at that. So what this guy does is he's not he's like he has this guy's arm and knee posted which is really good and then from there he really pushes that arm in and the closer that arm is to the body the easier and more likely you're going to hit the gator roll so he really pushes that arm in right there pushes the arm in and then he kind of like kicks his leg across because it's too he's too low to the ground at step so he kicks his leg across and then looks underneath big time gator roll he kind of lands on his back here, which isn't good. If you want, if you really want to be like bridging on your head, but he kind of lands on his back, which is okay at the high school, middle school level, but really you should be looking to bridge through. Then easy pin, his opponent doesn't even try to bridge. Pretty, pretty nice gator roll. What really made that one successful was he pushed that on. Another gator roll right here. Good, good twist, gets the pin. So one thing that, there's a few things that are good about the skater roll. Number one, he reaches for the, that leg for like a cradle, gets his kid to post both arms down and a knee. From there, he gets into a front headlock. Number one thing, your front headlock, it's a bad habit of mine too, it's kind of just hanging over. The head really should be on like a side and your elbow should be really pinching that arm in. Closer the arm is to the body, like I said, it's more gonna be, it's gonna be successful at a higher rate. So he really should be pinching that arm in and he makes a good step and he is really turning but like I said he lands on his back and if he had bridged it would have been fine but once you're landing on your back like that you're in trouble. Luckily this kid is able to muscle through, turn his opponent but you really want to be handing, landing on your head and the less friction the better and tighter front headlock. That's what you need to do better in this gator roll. It was still successful but it won't work at the higher levels. Next, this isn't really a gator roll. It's like a weird gator roll standing cradle, but I thought it was pretty cool. I'll try to break it down to the best of my abilities. It's like a gator roll standing cradle. So he has a front headlock. He's really got that tricep pinch, and then he grabs that leg. So this has basically most of the com like common aspects of a gator roll. He has that big step with his left leg, and then he grabs that leg because he's grabbing that leg if you look he lands on his back as well but unlike in like a gator roll he probably would have gotten reversed here or pinned but since he's grabbing that leg he has that leverage but if you're not grabbing that leg like i said before this is like the most common mistake people make you really got to be bridging with your head and because of that big step and he's grabbing that leg he's able to finish it all right, now we're gonna look at a cement mixer. These are basically like gator rolls. To be honest, I don't even know the difference. I'm just guessing that cement mixer, you got your, like an underhook gator roll, it's just a front headlock. So if we look, you gotta have your elbow outside. Right now the elbow's on the inside, pushes his elbow to the outside. He's grabbing, you can either grab under the wrist, like on the wrist, or you can grab the chin. I like grabbing the wrist, but it's just preference. So he's grabbing that wrist, and then what this guy does that's good, he's circling, setting it up, getting an angle, and then big step through. Right about here. You want to step through. That step's what's going to change your hip's direction. 
So big step through, look at the ceiling and a nice bridge. This is what you want to be. You really want to be bridging on your head like that. You don't want to be on your back or your hip. On your head is the best. Let's be able to get that. All right, next up, cement mixer. So it's in a front headlock kind of position, has that underhook. Then right, right about now, he takes a big step, finishes cement mixer, gets to fall. So if you look at that, he has that underhook and he really takes a nice big step. That step really sends his hips up. And his opponent, since his opponent, since he's like standing, he kind of finishes this move already on his hip. So there's really no need to bridge. But keep in mind, if you are on like lower to the ground, you're probably gonna need to bridge. But this move is really great. I kind of like this one better than the gator roll, but that's just my preference. So that mixers work at the high levels, especially just as well as they do at the lower levels. So now we're gonna look at one by Mark Hall. Pretty good Penn State wrestler, national runner up. Gets that cement mixer, clears his leg, gets to fall. So this one's pretty quick, but if you look, Mark Hall is really close to the ground right now. So he's not able to step. So instead he kind of like kicks his leg through right there. If you look at his left leg, he kicks his leg through and it's a really, he has an underhook, it's tight, kicks the leg through, grabbing that, that uh, chin and then he's on his head and that bridge is what makes it successful. He's bridging hard, he's able to twist his opponent onto his back. I'm gonna look at one more from Mark Hall. The opponent takes a shot, Mark Hall's defending, he's defending. Goes down to his knees, gets his opponent to post, then hits that cement mixer. So one more time, gets his opponent to post, Big, kind of like just puts his weight on him, gets his opponent to post something down. It's nice, he's got that wrapped around the chin and an underhook. It's on his own knees, and then at the last second, he's kicking his knee through, kicking his knee through, and then just landing on his head and bridging through. And if you look, his butt or hip doesn't touch the ground until like the last second. You really want to be like that. Your butt or hip shouldn't be touching the ground. But this is a really great move. Gator roll, uh, Olympic roll, uh, whatever you call it. The mat mixer, there's like so many names for this move. Circus roll. There's a bunch of names for this move, but there's three most important things. You want to be stepping through, the big step through, hips point to the ceiling. Your head should be looking under, making it tight. And then the last thing, you really want to be bridging. Bridge is what's going to make it successful at the high levels. And it's not just like a middle school move. Like you've seen college wrestlers like Mark Hall hit this move. And it really shows how good of a move this is. It's very consistent. It's just about mastery and experience. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. Comment down below on what we should do next. And sub for more wrestling content like this. Peace.